Hello, hello, Linda here from Baladi's Body Blitz and Mini eating some light refreshments. We are doing another speed walk today. We're going to keep the pace up. Lots of walking with different arm movements and few simple steps. If you can't go the pace that I'm going, slow it down a little bit, but I'm going to aim for about 5,000 steps in half an hour. So it's going to be 45 seconds of work, 10 seconds to change over. First interval, just marching in place. Now, if you want to go faster than the beat, you definitely can. Minnie's just decided to walk off. So walk around the room if you prefer that. Maybe do different steps if you don't like any of the exercises that are coming up. Make it your own workout and just have fun with it. It is slightly faster paced, so we're gonna keep it a bit smaller. Make sure you've got nice tall posture, tummies are in. I'll always show you the next exercise during the 10 second rest, but you can definitely take it. Although having said that, walking during that 10 seconds is probably a good idea if you really wanna get the 5,000 steps. First exercise, two across and two across, side lateral raise. Now, if you have a step monitor on your wrist, you definitely want to use your arms and make them as big as you can. Nice soft knees, shoulders down and back. Minnie's being naughty on the other side of the room. Minnie, no. She's scratching my sofa. She knows she's not supposed to do that. She wants to go outside, but I've decided to keep her in. Okay, the next exercise, we're just going to tap our heels. So, because it is a faster pace, you might not actually be able to tap, but simulate a tap. And as you get warmer, maybe those knees can come up higher. Or maybe you're just tapping your knee across like this instead of trying to aim for your heels. I can already see this is going to be one for the heart rate, this workout. The pace is very quick. Nice job. One, two, three, and tap. One, two, three, and tap. Across the body. One, two, three, and tap. Come with me. You can keep it small or use up a lot of space. And if you prefer, keep it on the spot. One, two, three, and tap. Okay, we're going to go out, out, in, in with our legs and just do little punches across. If you wanna go double time with those legs, you can definitely do that. It actually feels quite good. Single time arms, double time legs. Work those thighs. Already getting my heart rate up quite a bit. 
One, two, three, and knee. One, two, three, and knee. Pull those arms down. Deep breath in. One, two, three, and knee. Pulling those arms down in opposition. If you want to scoot across, make it higher intensity. Nice job. Going back to marching in place, push your arms out front and side. The simple ones are often deceptively tough. Push, push. Really think about pushing something away. might not be able to hear it. Up and up. Let's go down with one hand, up with the other hand. Really push, push with those hands. I'm going to give you an option for double time in a few more seconds. Go with me now. Little jump across if you want it. Double time. You definitely do not have to take these higher intensity options. Nice job. We're gonna do one leg. Let's go side and back. Side and front, side and back. Side and front, side and back. Lateral, front, lateral, front. With the arms. All of my weight is in my supporting leg. Big arms, tummies are in. Here comes the sun. Hoping it goes away again. If not, I might have to switch the camera. Sorry for the brightness if it's going overly bright here. Awesome job. Okay, same thing, other side. Deep breaths here. Okay, soft knees, and it's side and front, side and back. I am going pretty fast here, so please slow it down if it's just too fast for you. I know it's one for the brain, a bit of a challenge for the coordination. Okay, let's do butt kicks. So quite close and kicking your butt. Lean forward slightly with a flat back. And once again, if this is too fast, just slow it down. Maybe you're doing half time. Maybe you prefer a wider butt kick. 
If you want a little jump with it, go for it. Nice job. Deep breaths here. All we're doing is cross the heel across the body, chopping down arms. Ready? Little tiny taps and chopping arms. Keep it small if you're finding it too much with the outstretched arms. Nice job, we're going back to step, step, knee, knee. Step, step, knee, knee. Come with me. We can do whichever arms we want. Let's just do knees on the one leg actually. Knee, knee, step, step, knee, knee. It's easier at this pace. Nice job, okay. We're going to do little taps back, diagonal back, with tricep extension arms, linging, hinging forward at the hips, leaning forward slightly. If you prefer arms that alternate with faster taps, you can do that. This is what I mean, everyone is different, everyone's body shape is different. Tall people versus medium people versus short people move differently. So I would rather find you find a way of doing the exercise that works for you and that is enjoyable rather than copying exactly what I'm doing. Okay, it's all about moving, having fun, and just getting that heart rate up a little bit. Zone two cardio. Two, one, nice job. We're gonna go. Forward tap, back, back, forward tap, back, back. If you want double time arms. Now I'm leaning forward slightly as I come to the front. And remember, you can just be marching in place and copying the arms. If this is too much for you in terms of coordination, you do you. Nice job, we're going to go forward, forward, back, tap, forward, forward, back, tap. Little punches up, from shoulder height up. Deep breath in. I'm going down a little bit at the front and back up as I step back. This is a really fast beat.
Nice job. We're going to prance in place. So it's picking up the heels, keeping the toes down. Deep breath. Maybe hinge forward slightly. Tummy's in. And pump those arms. So this is almost like jogging, but without the impact because you're not lifting your toes. If you want wider, you can involve some hip action. If you want to make it a bit more dancey, why not? Have fun with it. Nice job. Just plain old butt kicks. Wider base of support this time. So. Keep it small because of the pace. Nice job. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three, four. Wide, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Two, three, four. If you want to, two, three, four. Hip, two, three, four. Don't think twice now. You got things to prove. I'm not playing. Okay, so this one we're going to punch, pull down, punch, pull down, punch, pull down. If you want the other arm, punch, punch, pull down, punch, punch. thing other side so here really crunch ribs to hips Anytime you need a drink of water, please just press pause and take it. It's going to be tough to go all the way through without any real breaks, so if you need it, please take it. getting there people let's just go like this and then front raise side and side front raise front raise upright row 
squeeze your shoulder blades together. With some of the beats, I'm going one and a half times. Sometimes I'm going double time. It's rare to stay on the beat unless it's a really fast song. In order to get the steps in, we have to race that beat. Nice job. One, two, three. 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 If you want it. A little bit more impact, but this is actually good for your bones to put a little bit of impact in there every now and then. As long as you're on soft flooring, that can absorb the impact for you. It will put some pulling pressure on your joints, which will signal your bones that they need to up their game a bit and get a bit stronger. Okay, deep breath. All we're gonna do is fast prancing with little arm circles. You ready? Arm circles to the front, they're tiny. And you're prancing or you're marching. Keep it small, letting the heart rate down a little bit after that Heisman. That always gets the heart rate up. If you prefer here, rotating through the shoulder joint. Don't worry so much about what the hand's doing. Rotate through the shoulders. Now backwards, rotating the other direction. Okay, we're going to go two across low and back for two. Now I'm scooting across, jump, jump. Otherwise, just step it across. Down and down, up and up. Down and down, up and up. Race that beat. Okay, breathe through it. We're just gonna do fast feet. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, with little corner punches. Minnie wanted to go out once again, but I haven't let her, so she's probably gonna come back again. Corner punches, out, out, in, in. If you don't like the little out, out, in, in, just little prances in place. Okay, nice job. We're gonna do a grapevine. Back behind and then together. Behind and then together. If you don't wanna do the grapevine, then just do two steps across like this. I'm going to do my arms like this chopping action here. Bicep curl, hammer curl action. Thank you. 
we're going to stay down low, wide plie, and push, 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 as fast as you like. Little step steps. This is going to burn out those thighs. Try to tuck your hips forward a little bit. Tummies are in. Feel your waist as well as you bring that elbow kind of behind your back. If you prefer to punch, you can punch here. Push or punch. Okay, tap behind, 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 sweeping your arm across. So behind, 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 behind. If you want a little jump, you could do a little jump. I'm going to keep it grounded. This one's total body. Legs are burning, abs are feeling it. Arms are feeling it. Shoulders down and back. Okay. Really fast knees across. So anchor yourself on your supporting leg and pull the knee across. Maybe keep it really small. Maybe tap in like this. Or do it half time. Twist through the waist. Can't quite catch that beat, but that's okay. Ah, oh, that one was tough. I'm going to give you a bit of a break. Po toe point, not po point. Toe point in front, swing those arms. So instead of heels now, we're doing toes. Tap, 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 tap. If you prefer running man arms, you can. Did I say this was a break? That was a mistake in people. There is no break in this workout. Sorry, not sorry. I'm looking after your heart health here. So just do your best. You do not have to keep up with me if you want it. A little jump. It actually works better with the beat. Less awkward. I will give you a break next. Next one, we're just going to do hip side to side. And if you want the arms, up and side. But arms above the head, elevate the heart rate. So if you just want to do hips side to side and keep your arms down here, you can definitely do that. Actually feels more fun down here. Goes with those hips a bit better. Maybe a bit of both. What did I do? Was it this? <laughs> Sorry, do as I say, not as I do. Okay, we don't have that much more to go, so you really need to give me your all. Let's widen our base of support. Little punches across for eight, down for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
If you prefer to just stand, uh, sorry, step like this and go half time, you can do that. We're coming towards the end. There's not much more to go. So I want you to give me your all. Stay on one leg, just forward and back, forward and back on a slight angle. Putting all that weight in the heel of your standing side. So good for you to stabilize on one leg. Hold your belly button in. That will help you to stay more upright. But if you're wobbling too much, hold on with one hand. Or just stay more upright. Or march in place. Other side. Ready? Anchor it, forward and slightly to the side back. Once you get it, lean down as if you're about to sit in a chair. Flat back, tummies in, and march those arms. If you need a break, come out of it a little bit. Deep breath and come back down. Okay, two rounds to go. So, across, across, punch. Across, across, punch. Across, across, tap back with that toe and punch. Crunch. Across, across, punch. Sorry if I keep changing the exercise slightly. It's a matter of finding what actually works with the beat and what feels natural. Okay, speed walk it to the end. You can prance it, you can jog it, do whatever you want as fast as you can to the end. This is it, this is it. Use those arms. Come on, keep going. Okay, guys, that is it. 30 minutes of really getting your heart rate up, a little bit over 30 minutes. I hope you enjoy the faster tempo. I definitely found it more challenging to keep to that beat. But every time you do it, you can go that little bit faster and think about your heart health improving with these faster walking workouts. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.